The United Arab Emirates is showing interest in Turkey's new fighter jet, Khan. This comes as the project gains more attention worldwide. Mehmet Demiroglu, the CEO of Turkish Aerospace Industries, confirmed this and even hinted at a possible joint air platform with the UAE. This announcement was made at IDEX 2025, a major defense exhibition in Abu Dhabi. Turkish defense companies attracted a lot of interest, holding talks with officials from different countries. TAI was a key attraction with UAE officials and other international representatives keen to learn more. Speaking to Turkish media, Demiroglu shared details about ongoing talks and future collaborations. TAI has already signed an agreement with UAE-based defense firm Kaleidos. They plan to work together on the Herkus training aircraft. He also added, We have agreed on ways to improve the Herkus and help the UAE enhance its aircraft production. The formal agreement will be signed soon. The UAE is also interested in Turkai's ATAC helicopter. They tested the ATAC-1 and were very impressed. A high-level UAE team even visited Turkai to see it in action. Talks about the ATAK helicopter slowed down for a while, but they are picking up again. The UAE's interest doesn't stop there. They are also looking at Turkai's ANK A3 unmanned combat aerial vehicle. He said, We are not just talking about ANKA-3, we are also discussing creating a new air platform together. The UAE is open to this idea, and we expect good news soon. He also shared an update on the Khan project, confirming that Turkai is working with multiple defense firms, including Saudi Arabia. The UAE could also join as a partner. During our high-level meetings, UAE officials showed interest in Khan and said they are willing to get involved. The second Khan prototype is expected to be ready by the end of this year, with a third coming in early 2026. TAI and its partners are working hard to stay on schedule, with the first deliveries planned for 2028 